we write numbers in scientific notation. And this is going to become extremely important when we're dealing with uh, reporting significant figures and uh, d describing the confidence we have in our measurements. So any number that, uh, that is to be expressed in scientific notation must conform to, uh, to this form. n times 10 to the m, uh, where n is going to be a number between 1 and 10. Uh, I mean, it can be 1, I suppose it can be 1, but it can't be 10. So it's got to be less than 10. It's got to be a single digit between 1 and 10, a single uh, number between 1 and 10. We 1.5, 1.8, uh, 9.3, whatever, whatever. Uh, and uh, m must be an integer. This digit, this number here, it's going to be a number 3, 8, negative 85, negative 66, 0. Can't be a fraction. Can't be anything other than uh, a whole number. Be positive or negative. It is also equal to the number of places that de the decimal point had to move to conform to this. So I think that if we look at examples, this is going to elucidate it much better rather than just talking about it theoretically. So let's look at uh, 586.762, and let's say you are to write this in scientific notation. Well, we want our number to conform to the to the form uh, uh, between one and ten. This is 586, it's definitely more than 10. So I can move this decimal point, and if I do, if I, I'll move it here, and I'll be at 5.8 something. 5.8 something is indeed between one and 10. So in order for me to do that, I'm gonna to have to move the decimal point one, two, twice, twi uh, twice over. And it will become 5.86762, which is between one and 10 is good times 10 to the, well, now I have n, m is equal to the number of places the decimal point moved. It moved twice, one, two. Since it moved to the left, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to index that as positive two. This is positive two. Okay? Let's look at another example. Let's look at like a small number. Uh, 0 0.0000031. Let's say I have to write that in scientific notation. Again, I want my number to be between 1 and 10. In order for me to do that, I need to move the decimal point over. And I'll probably put it here between the 3 and the 2. So I look at 3.21 times 10 to the something. 3.21 is between 1 and 10. So I'm moving it over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And so now I'm at 3.21 times 10 to the, well, now, when you go to the left, it's positive. When you go to the right, it's negative. So this is actually negative 6. Okay. Let's look at two more quick examples. Let's say I have 75. 75. Okay. It is implicit that the decimal point is going to be right here. I want this thing to be between 1 and 10. So I'm going to move this over once. So, so now I'm going to be at 7.5 times 10 to the... I only moved it once to the first. And indeed, 7.5 times 10 is 75. Okay, let's look at point 0.3. Point 0.3. That's not scientific notation because my number has to be between 1 and 10. So I'm going to move this over here. And now I'm going to have 3. And I moved it over once, but to the right. So it's going to be 3 times 10 to the negative 1, which is exactly correct. And you can punch these into calculator or to Google or Excel or something, and they will they will verify to you that you indeed do, do the right thing. Okay. One more thing we should discuss is uh, how to deal with arithmetic. So how do I add two things that are in scientific notation? How do I subtract them? How do I multiply? And how do I divide them? Okay. So uh, addition and subtraction are uh, the same rule. Okay. What you will need to do. The same thing. Uh, you want to make sure that the two numbers that you're adding or subtracting have the same exponent m. Otherwise, you can't do it. So uh, make sure both numbers that are in scientific notation uh, have the same exponent. Uh, on the 10, on the 10, okay, whoops, can't see that, have the same exponent on the 10, uh, go, all right, and uh, then once you, once you actually do that, add 
the pre-exponential numbers only, and leave the 10 to the m intact. Okay, so you don't you don't play with that. You just make sure that it's the same. So if you look at uh, an example or two, I think this will make sense. Let's look at this. Uh, so example examples. Let's say I have uh, 7.5 times 10 to the 3. Okay, and I want to add to this uh, 35 times 10 to the second. How do I do that? Well, I can't just do that. I mean, I, I can, if I punch into the calculator, I can technically do that. But when we talk about sig figs, you will see that uh, that's not great because um, we want to be able to report significant figures and the calculator won't be able to do it for us. So we should really know how to do this ourselves so we don't have to rely on a calculator because the calculator can't help us here. Okay, so 7.5 times 10 to the third, 35 times 10 to the two. I want to make sure that these two are the same. So I can pick either one to, con to convert to, whatever I want. So for the hell of it, I'm going to convert this to 10 to the second. I could, I could choose to convert this to 10 to the third, whatever, whatever I want. I chose this. So to convert this to 10 to the third, it, remember, if I, go, if I go to the right, I subtract. If I go to the left, I add. So I'm going to move this over once. And then what's going to happen, I'm going to get 75 times 10 to the second. Now it's the same. Plus 35 times 10 to the second. To add them, so then add the pre-exponentials. These are the pre-exponentials. Just add these two numbers and leave the 10 to the mth alone. So it's going to be 75 plus 35 is 110, 110 uh, times 10 to the second, okay? And then I want to just conform back to scientific notation. So I'm going to move my decimal point over once, twice over. And uh, finally, it's 1.10 times 10 to the fourth. And that, that is my correct answer right here. Okay, let's look at another example. Let's say I have 7.4 times 10 to the 8th minus 3.0 times 10 to the 9th. Okay, I want to make sure that the 10s are in the same uh, exponent. So I could either uh, convert this to 10 to the 9th or convert this to 10 to the 8th. I chose to convert this to 10 to the 8th. So can, to convert this to 10 to the 8th, if I move this to the right, I subtract. So I'll, I'll move it over once. And this becomes 30 times 10 to the 8th. This is still 7.4 times 10 to the 8th. And I subtract it. I subtract it pre-exponentials. Okay, so 7.4 minus 30. You punch that into the calculator. That should be negative 22.6. And you leave the exponent alone. The, this stays the same. Okay, now to conform back to scientific notation, I'll move this over back and it's negative 2.26 times 10 to the ninth, and that is my answer. Okay, so that's, that's that. Uh, let's do uh, multiplication and division, uh, which are significantly easier in my opinion. Uh, you literally just multiply and divide for the most part, right? So uh, multiplication and division, and let's look at the examples I have here. Okay, to multiply, two numbers that are in scientific notation to multiply them. Uh, multiply the two pre-exponential numbers. And as far as the, as the exponents go, add the two exponents. Okay, let's see how this works. Let's say I have 3 times 10 to the 5th times 7 times 10 to the 8th. Okay, what I'll do is I will, I will multiply these two and I will add these two. This is multiply, this is add. So this is how I'll do that. 3 times 7, 21 times 10 to the 5 plus 8, 13. Done. Well, almost done. I want to conform this to scientific notation. So this is the decimal point is here. I'll move it over. 
and this is going to be 2.1 times 10 to the 14th done. Okay, uh, these are easily check checkable in calculators and Google and Excel and things like that. Uh, to divide, very similar except now you're you're subtracting the exponents. Uh, to divide, uh, divide the two free exponentials. To be exponential, I can spell exponential numbers, uh, and then uh, subtract the two exponents. So let's look at an example. Uh, let's say I have 8 times 10 to the first, and I have to divide this by uh, 4 times 10 to the second. Okay, so uh, again, I will divide, 8 divided by 4, and I will subtract that. So let's do that. 8 divided by 4, that's 2, and uh, 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Done. And it's even in scientific notation, isn't that nice? So 2, two times 10 to the negative 1, and uh, indeed, this is, if you really look at it, 8, 80 divided by, what's 100? 400. So you could probably just do it yourself and figure that out. 8 over 40 which is 0.2, uh, and that is 0.2, same thing. So you can always check this on calculator and figure this out. But this is this is the uh, how you do set the notation. Okay, so I encourage you to look at examples uh, and and practice.